This is uh, a book called Shinji, Shinji Shobogenzo, which is a collection of koans that Dogen, the founder of Soto Zen, collected when he went to China to find the true Buddhist teaching, like Honan. Dogen was dissatisfied with what was being taught in the mainstream Japanese schools uh, and whereas Honan found his enlightenment in a text by a Chinese um, master, Shan Dao, Dogen decided to go to China and meet the Chinese masters themselves. So he did, and part of what he did was collect these little stories between ancient Chinese masters and disciples that are supposed to show something about the nature of the Dharma. Um, so the 38th one is just this little encounter between two Chinese Buddhist masters. Although I think the names are written in the Japanese style. Mm -hmm. Master Seppo Gisen on Mount Seppo in the Fuku district pointed to a hearth and said to Master Gensa, Inside this hearth all Buddhas in the past, present and future are preaching Gautama Buddha's truth. Master Gensa said, The regulations in the Emperor's sanctuary have recently been tightened. Master Seppo said, In what way? Master Gensa said, It is forbidden to any, for anyone to plunder a street market. So I'm sure that's crystal clear, <laughs> so we'll leave it there. No, they're often, uh, you often need a bit of explanation because they're couched in all of the, with the cultural things and illusions that we don't know about. So the first master really is having a spiritual, a small spiritual experience. He's looking into the fire and, and all of the Buddha's teachings are present to him in that moment. He's suddenly going, yes, I, I understand what the Buddha was talking about. The Buddha's present for me right now, Amida's present, Manjushri's present, all the Buddhas of the past, present and the future. When I look into this fire, I feel connected to everything. And the second master says essentially, well that's all very well, but come on back to the real world. <laughs> and he talks about something very concrete, uh, that the government have cracked down on people stealing food, presumably because they're hungry, otherwise it wouldn't be a concern for the monks, I guess, um, <coughs> in the marketplace. And the point really is that both of these things are true at the same time. The Dharma is exquisite and refined and idealistic, but, if, if it, um, but it requires, or it also coexists, completely with the world that we live in, which is full of greed, hate and delusion, impermanence, suffering, government cracking down on hungry people, flies in the shrine room, you know, whatever it is. Um, both of these things are true and if we get too caught in one or the other then we lose the way. So one understanding of the middle way you could say or even under, I mean, essentially it's Nambutsu, isn't it? It's being in the midst of this world and recognising human nature for what it is, foolish nature, recognising samsara for what it is, and also knowing that whilst that's true, all of the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas can be found uh, in every moment. Namo Mita Ru.